Well, we are here with Phil Noto. Now, Phil, what are we working on today? I am doing a quick uh, Black Widow headshot right now for a big Black Widow fan. Okay. Now, you've done quite a lot of work on Black Widow. What, what is it about the, the character that draws you in? Um, it, I just, you know, I, I love doing the Spy Girl type comic stuff, and it was just a great opportunity to kind of do whatever I wanted art-wise on the book. And, um, yeah, I mean, I drew Black Widow for two years, and it was a lot of fun. She's a, a character that people really uh, relate to because she's so mercurial. Is, is, does that give you a lot of opportunities for exploring different elements of that character? Um, yeah, I think it was uh, it was fun because yeah, I mean she's just kind of a normal person, no superpowers or whatnot, um, and she you know it was a lot of uh, a lot of room to explore her different emotions and how she would deal with superheroes and non superheroes and just that kind of stuff. And what are you working on at the moment? Uh, not not on on your board directly in front of you. Black uh, No, um, Poe Dameron uh, for the for Marvel, the Star Wars comic. That is super exciting. So does that give you a do they give you any extra information about that character or where it may be going or what can you tell me about episode eight is essentially what I'm asking. I cannot tell you anything about episode eight. The Poe Dameron stuff is all pre episode seven, but um. Yeah, even if I knew anything, I could not tell you. They, they would murder me. It's Supernova, and I'm trying to decide whether this guy is an intergalactic proton-powered electrical tentacle advertising droid or a wacky wobbler, a wacky arm-waving wobbler. What are you? And I think we've answered that. I'm here at the Red Billabong stand. Now tell me what Red Billabong is. Exactly. Um, no, it's a it's an Aussie um, action adventure film. So it's uh, it's obviously very different, as uh, you guys can probably see by the poster and the uh, wee monster we have here. It's uh, it's very innovative, uh, very exciting from uh, writer director Luke Spark. Uh, I play a character called Nick, one of the estranged brothers who comes back to the settle their grandfather's estate. And in all good action adventure films, people start disappearing. So uh, who is it? What is it? What's going on? There's a whole bunch of layers. It's it's gonna be a good one. We're talking to the wonderful people at Claffy Industries. Now uh, I I I wanted to talk to you because you're so incredibly colourful and, and it's rainbows and it's wonderfulness. So uh, how did you guys start? What, what, what is it all about? Tell me about Claffy. Well, basically, we just love crafting. We thought we'd um, we we wanted to make like little obscure characters out of out of felts, basically. So we just thought we'd go a bit of you know left of field, like try avoid the really sort of um, mainstreamy or the the more um, popular yeah, stuff. Yeah. To craft. Yeah, yeah, and go for the more obscure sort of stuff that people might not recognise. Okay, or... so who's this? That's the Dianoga. That's the the oh, trash compactor. <laughs> Uh, uh, monster from Star Wars, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's With a little mouth and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and who else have we got? Like, um, yeah, we, we've got the Sarlacc from Star Wars as well. Um, I know he's pretty common, but we've got Wicked. Yeah, we've got Wicked. We've got Max Rebo down there. Uh, one of my favourites. We are here with Karen. You obviously know Karen from Suicide Squad, where you played Katana. Now, this was your first movie, and it's one of the biggest films of the year. What is that like? Oh, it's a dream come true. Yeah? And it's so surreal still. Um, I, can't, I still can't believe I'm, I'm here in Australia. It's my first time here. Uh, Thanks for having me. Oh, <laughs> thank you for being here. Yeah, and it's, it's, you know, the reason why I'm here is because I played Katana on Suicide Squad and I never would have thought that I would get my own figurines and I would have people cosplaying as me yeah. on my first movie. So it's <laughs> surreal. It's surreal. Now, I really want to know what you expected going into a role like Katana. Are, are you a comic book fan? Were you familiar with the character beforehand? Did you have to do research? What went into it? Yeah, well, when I was auditioning for the role, I didn't really know what I was going in for. Mm -hmm. So when I got the call and I met with David, or director, um, that's when I first found out I was up for the role Katana. Mm -hmm. And he gave me the comic book series, and that's where I started my research. and. I fell in love, you know, there are so many, so many, uh, so many, so much history to yes. Katana and I'm grateful that I had those comic books because, mm. um, you know, some characters, you don't know their backstories as yeah. well as uh, I got to Yeah, get to absolutely. Know I mean, we can't all have Batman. Yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. Although Batman's pretty cool. I'd love to Would play Would you Batman. play Batman? Yes. 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 
the world's smallest Batman, I would say. <laughs> I think we need little Batman. Yeah, a little, a little like... <laughs> it's like a lot of me. Lots of Batman. So you were introduced to this character through comics. Were there other characters that you weren't familiar with previously that you found through researching for Katana? Of course. Um, you know, I, I had to read the comic book uh, yep. Suicide Squad, um, which was so funny because I, I had stacks and stacks of comics to read. There are so many, so many uh, episodes and chapters. Um, but I was flipping through it, flipping through it, and it took me a couple days to get through all of it. And I just couldn't find Katana in any of them. No. <laughs> because I'm not in them. No. Yeah, no, well, now I am. Sad. Now you now are. I am. And you're, you're pushing it forward. I know. I know. So, uh, you know, when I was trying to find Katana as I was reading Suicide Squad, that's when I found out about, you know, Boomerang and yeah. uh, Deadshot and all of that. And it's really fun to see all the eclectic personalities come together in one movie. It's been wonderful having you with us. Thank you so much. Thank you.